Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the PySpark intro question that is asked in JLL intro very recently. Given as a pickup details, we have a request ID and pickup location details available here. So from this information, we need to get top three pickup locations using a PySpark. Now, if you look into our location details, pickup location details, so we have airport, office, hospital, and so on. So from all these details, so what is the pickup location that is taken most times by the customers? Uh, based on that information, we need to bring a top three location details. Now, if you look into airport here, so airport is available two times. Uh, if you look into office, office is also available two times. But if you look into hospital, hospital is available four times. So now out of all this information, hospital is the information we can see lot many times. So hospital should come in the first position. Now similarly, airport is also two times and office also two times. So those two will come in the next two positions. And the least uh, pickup location we can see is a shopping mall. So in this way, from this information, we need to get top three pickup locations that has chosen by customer. So let's see how we can solve this using PySpark. We are on the Databricks notebook. Uh, this is the schema we have defined. Uh, we have created a data frame with a pick request ID and pickup details. Now if you see, this is the data frame we have created, pickup data frame. So which contains all the request ID and pickup location. Now let's see how we can get uh, top three pickup locations. So to do that, maybe I will take a new command here. This is the data frame. This is our data frame name. So take this data frame name. Okay. So we'll do a start doing a grouping by here. So we'll do group by count. So we'll do group by count and pickup location. So we'll get a count of each and every pickup location so that we can understand how many times pickup location is available. So we'll be doing a grouping by on pickup location. And we need to find out a count of it. So maybe I will write back this data frame result to a new data frame. Maybe I will give that as a pickup count. If I execute this one, we'll also display it by using a display. Now, if you look into the output, pickup location, airport two times, office two times, hospital four times, and shopping mall one time. Now, what we'll do, we'll start this result set based on a descending order. So, hospital will come on the top, next airport and office will come in the next two places. So, to do that, uh, on top of this, we can also use order by. It should be in descending order. The count should be in descending order. So, we can go descending of count. Okay, that's it. So if now if you execute this query, the result set will be sorted in a descending order. Okay, so here uh, descending is the function we need to import. So let's import the function first. This is SQL function. So we'll import it uh, first and then we'll execute it. Okay, now you see, we are getting a data in a descending order. Now, out of all these records, we should get only top three records. That is the expected output we want to get. Now, this, by using a same query, maybe we can use a limit. So by using a limit, we can get only top three records. So if we give limit three, so we'll get only top three records from our result set. Now, if I execute this one, see, we are getting only top three records. So in this way, simply by using a group by count, uh, based on the descending order, you'll get the result. And on top of it, if you give limit three, you'll get only top three records. So this is the one of the way. If the interview is asking to provide an answer in a different way. Maybe we can also try out by using a row number. So let's see how we can achieve this result by using a row number. Okay, let me take a no command. Uh, here also, first of all, we need to group by the data and we need to get the results. Once we get the result, on top of that, we can use a row number. We can generate row numbers and we can take only top three records. So this command will be pretty much same. 
I'll take this data first. Okay, so pick up pick up counts only. Pick up uh, DF data group by uh, pick up location count. Okay. Next thing we need to generate a row number. So to generate a row number, okay, we'll take a pick up counts with column. So we are generating row number first. The new column name will give as a row number. That is a row number. And we'll be using a Windows transformation here. I have given a row number here over uh, Windows dot order by. So we'll, we'll be getting a row number based on a count. So it will give count of all the pickup locations. And if you do a descending and count, so based on a descending order, row number will be generated. So once row number is generated, later on we can filter it. So let's see this output first. Maybe what I will do is I will let this result to a new data frame. Maybe I will give this as a. Okay, so that will be my data frame. And I am going to display this data frame now. And one thing we need to keep in mind is uh, we are using a Windows function. We are using a row number. We are using a window. So that we need to import first. So to do that, we need to use our functions. We need to import these functions first. Now if we execute this one. Now see. So we are getting all the details. Uh, the pickup location with the count. So this is the count. On top of that, we have generated row number. So we are having row number 1, 2, 3, 5. So we have not done any kind of partition. We have generated row number based on the count descending order. So count with the highest one will get a row number 1 next with a rank row number two and three and so on now once you get the result you can apply filter here uh, to get a top three row numbers one two three okay so we can use filter here you can give row number less than or equal to three okay that simple filter we can apply and if i click on uh, run cell now i'll get only top three records so in this way also we can get top three pickup locations. Now if you want to select only uh, pickup location alone, so we can also use here select select only that particular column pickup location. Now execute this. Okay, so in this way we can get only top three pickup locations by using PySpark. Uh, the first way is simply by using a limit. The next way we can try it out by using a row number also. Anything is fine. Okay. So that is pretty much we're having for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of intro questions and answers.